Gentlemen, in a couple of minutes, you're going to hear um, one segment from Laura Ingram and one from Sean Hannity. Apparently, and this is what's being reported, apparently, President Trump is ready or close to, I can't guarantee, might not happen, but he is close to declassifying some very important element uh, segments of the FISA application that will show, let me get everybody in here in a good, okay, that will show that they framed and set up the president and they utilized the Steele dossier that was do not believe. None of it is verified. Even the part where they say that um, the Russians hacked into Clinton's emails, we only know that the intelligence community only quotes or utilizes crowd, a CrowdStrike assessment the United States government has never backed, guaranteed, or stated with certainty that the Russian government hacked the DNC to inform the country that Bernie Sanders was cheated. We are a CrowdStrike assess. The country is relying on a CrowdStrike assessment. A CrowdStrike was outsourced by the Democratic Party. They would never allow Trump strike. They would never allow President Trump to outsource his own tech firm to then say, "Hey, uh, NSA and FBI, utilize my tech firm to to promote my vantage point." The Steele dossier makes specific claims. Carter Page met with intel, Russian intel officials, Manafort and Gates, or Manafort and uh, Papadopoulos and Flynn all met with Russian intelligence officials as part of a coordinated effort between the Trump campaign and Putin. That never happened. Not one person was charged under the Espionage Act for, or, or sorry, under the 18 U.S. Code the uh, 371 statutes, not one person was charged under any statutes linked to collusion. There, If the Steele dossier was accurate because it makes specific claims about Manafort, Card- uh, Papadopoulos, Carter Page, General Michael Flynn, who's an honorable, honorable man who should be pardoned, Papadopoulos should be pardoned also, just to see the liberal heads um, implode, Manafort should be pardoned, everyone should be pardoned. It was unlawful. You had a bunch of quote-unquote liberal, left-leaning. They're not. They're authoritarian, and they enjoy state power as long as it helps them. They don't like William Barr, and they don't like President Trump. And now they don't like Rod Rosenstein. Soon they won't like Andrew McCabe, and I explained that today. And soon they won't like James Clapper when they all flip and sing. But they are enamored. They revere they admire and they love authority when that authority, when that state uh, influence, state power or prestige coincides with their political vantage points. When it doesn't, it's a big problem. When it doesn't coincide with what they want politically, it's a huge problem. When they say, oh, well, the FBI has to investigate Kavanaugh again. The FBI finds nothing because they don't have a time machine. Oh, well, we don't like the... The FBI messed up. If it's, oh, well, the Steele dossier was perfectly vetted. No, it wasn't. Where's the dossier against Clinton? Where's the Clinton dossier? Oh, I want to thank you very much for those bodily fluids. I can't tell you how it rejuvenates my skin. And, uh, you know, I tell you, I I actually... I utilize it as a post-workout... Post-workout recovery... Um, supplement. So if you could just go ahead and here's a cup. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, as much as you want. All right. Thank you. That's really good. In fact, you know what, honey? Why don't we utilize this as part of the dossier against Trumpy? Yeah, we'll say that he likes this. Okay, bye. They know incriminating information on Trump. Oh, they spent years cultivating not one shred of intelligence or information or evidence or facts were derived from U.S., quote-unquote, U.S. intelligence. That's why you have these hilarious, these, these, so-called, these so-called intelligence experts on Twitter. It makes you wonder, like, 
Do they know that top secret intelligence resided in special access? Do they even know what special access program intelligence is? Maybe they don't. You have these hilarious, these hilarious, these quote unquote intelligence officials or intelligence experts on Twitter talking about Trump every day. And it's like, wait, wait a second. Clinton had top secret and special access program intelligence and violations under the Espionage Act have a 10-year statute of limitations. So, and especially if you're still using the same server, server apparatus. So, I mean, this is all... Well, let's listen to this. So this is the, uh, this is Laura Ingram. Let's listen to this right now. Dean said the dossier is unreliable. He didn't want the uh, Intel, Intel to review it. Um, we hear tonight, I heard today from a high place White House source that the president it may be looking to um, release and uh, declassify all the relevant documents leading up to the start of the Russia probe next week. But he's going to, but I heard he's going to give him to Attorney General Barr uh, to review. Well, I've been hearing that for a long time. All right. So whether he declassifies or gives it to William Barr, you have John Durham. You have people who will do something. You have people who will eventually do something. So that is important. That is important. Then you have... Um, Let's see. Hold on one second. Then you have Sean Hannity. Where is that clip? My God, what did I do? All right, so you also have a clip from Hannity that basically gets into, and he does a good job kind of explaining explaining all the Michigas, all the nonsense. And it's it's just here. Here's a, here's here it is. Decision. And remember we told you the top of the FISA application says verified. It's unverifiable. Now, former Congressman Gowdy has seen the FBI's FISA request against Carter Page. He knows that Sid Vicious Blumenthal... Ha and- <laughs> ha, Sid Vicious Blumenthal. Listen, it's supposed to be verified, says verified. Nothing's verified about the Steele dossier. When people get indicted, the same people who are like, oh, the Steele dossier is verified. They've never read the dossier. The dossier makes specific allegations of Trump campaign associates meeting with officials that never happened it absolutely never happened that never happened so they make these grandiose statements but they never they never read the nonsense it is a compilation of politically motivated absurd claims my god you know it, this is like the dumbing down of an entire country Democrats fancy themselves to be these intelligent, forward-thinking. They are not, not only are they not forward-thinking, not only are they unintelligent, politically motivated, disgruntled, malicious imbeciles, but what they've done is they pretend that if they just wield power in the manner they want, they don't care if the tables are turned. You can't have any implicit, uh, explicit, uh, subliminal bias. But if Peter Strzok says, we will stop Trump, that's okay. If the Mueller team is composed only of hardcore partisan, partisan Democrats who gave $50,000 plus total to Democratic, to President Obama, Hillary Clinton, the Democratic National Committee, that's okay. If you have people just their lives ruined, for process crimes that have nothing to do with the major accusations, that's okay too. People were like on CNN's, um, on YouTube, on CNN's um, comment section, they'd be like, oh my God, Avenatti, he's so ro- romantic, he's dreamy. Oh, me lovey Muller. Now they're not talking like that anymore. 
I mean, you they have cuddled up next to Avenatti and Clapper and Brennan and Comey and Strzok and McCabe. And, you know, that's 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 their world. They love that stuff. Anything that they any possible way to disparage Trump and they if they're intoxicated by it. But see, it doesn't really help them. It's not gonna help them in 2020. And guess what? Hillary is going to just Hillary Clinton is running again. Mark my words. Tell everyone I'm telling you. Clinton is running again. And when she runs again and loses, <laughs> I think that actually that might just do in Twitter. Twitter might become MySpace. Twitter and Facebook might actually become MySpace because of that. Because you will see so much. You will see so much censorship and everything. And it'll still uh, result in a Trump victory. I mean, who is going to... One heroic thing about Trump at this moment. Who is going to go up against these people? Who's going to go up against Trump? I mean, who's going to go up against the Intel community, the Intel officials, media... I mean, who's going to go up against all of these people and 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 be victorious? And circular reporting. Remember, Michael Lizakov, same sourcing. They acted as though it was separate sourcing. They were both used to bolster the unverified garbage that Comey swore was true to the best of his knowledge and verified. Now, with the investigations from Horowitz. And now Mr. Durham as well are underway. Rush Limbaugh rightly pointing out the deep state is now in a panic mode for good reason. It was never verified, and that's the big deal. The Steele dossier was a bunch of gossip and nonsense compiled allegedly with act, an active Russian intelligence official and a former Russian, Russian government official. And Russian Russian people with ties to the Kremlin. What kind of insidious, vile, pathetic group of people within a political party trying to push a narrative that we learned? I grew up. I grew up with the knowledge that the Cold War was over and there were elements of the Cold War that were completely immoral. And just blaming another country for your problems or, or viewing an entire, another country as, you know, or, or, or trying to ruin people's lives by saying they're, they owe allegiance to another country. We learn that the McCarthy era, even if the rebuttal is, hey, there were communists in Hollywood. Okay, so? So, that doesn't mean you go after George Marshall. That doesn't mean you go after the military. It doesn't mean you 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 foment this 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 McCarthy era red scare hysteria where everyone is you know and, and you still you see when you when the left of any country when liberals of any country are promoting the Cold War a a a a McCarthy era when they're promoting McCarthy era tactics tactics. They're not really liberals. What they are is authoritarian leftists. There are people on the left who are authoritarian, and they love state power when it suits them. This is a the the country is a vehicle for the Democratic Party, according to Democrats. Not so for Trump voters. Trump voters are actually autonomous in many ways. They're far more independent of thought, and they're far more intelligent than the average Democrat. The average Democrat will believe that Russia hacked the DNC to inform the country that Bernie Sanders was cheated. And they'll believe this because Clapper said so. Even if all the evidence shows it almost certainly is an extension of the Democratic Party. You have Christopher Steele paid by Democrats. You have CrowdStrike outsourced by Democrats. You have the United States government telling you that we do not have any intelligence at all to justify any of this. And they're, they're kind of funny, too, because they're amusing because they think like, well, you know what, if we just, if we just foment enough uh, dislike and, and contempt for Trump, it's not working. They tried to stop Trump from becoming president. It didn't work. They tried to undermine President Trump during his presidency. It didn't work. We have economic numbers that they could only dream of. 
We have lower unemployment numbers than at any point in President Obama's tenure and at any point in the last 50 years. We have, the only thing they could do against Trump is is amplify the belligerent voices within his administration and then come out with bogus fake news stories. Oh yeah, Trump's going to send 120,000 Americans. No, he's not. No, he's not. That's nonsense. They can only... Once the DNC emails showed the truth about Democrats, that they cheated Bernie Sanders and that they engaged in a rigged primary, the Democrats said, you know what? The truth against us should be then turned into fabricated stories from anonymous sources against them and will utilize the New York Times. The same, the, the, the DNC emails say that they're, they're show letters to uh, Clinton's campaign chief. Oh, I'm a hack. Don't tell anyone. This is one New York Times reporter. Another New York Times reporter is supposed to be a friendly journalist who's teed up stories in the past. That's in the DNC emails. That's what a Clinton campaign official stated. And now you have President Trump possibly declassifying. Hopefully he will. At least he's ready to. At least William Barr and John Durham. And Rod Rosenstein's part of the mix now. I mean, isn't that hilarious? You had Rosenstein, who was just as vile and insidious as all the others. Like, I don't do the redacting, sir. And now he's he's in the mix. He's turned, he's the first one to flip and sing. And now they're all after each other. Comey, they're all after each other. And Comey's the guy who he's still holding on to the media. But he doesn't realize Democrats don't like him. The media is look what happened to Avenatti. He was a media darling. Now then look what happened. Look what when you when you give your life and image and um, if you're a democratic partisan or if you're a, a liberal democrat, your allegiance to Clapper's words and Brennan's words and Comey's words doesn't correlate to it doesn't correlate to your desire for a Green New Deal. Those two things work against one another. You're not going to get a Green New Deal. First of all, <laughs> you would. I wrote in The Federalist exactly why the Green New Deal is so horrendous. Because it relies on the indigenous communities in the Congo, in Latin America, in throughout the, the, the country, I mean throughout the world, to um, Bolivia, Argentina. It, it relies on indigenous communities to mine cobalt. The world's cobalt is found, the, the majority of the world's cobalt um, reserves are found in, in the Congo, Democratic Republic of the Congo. And w- do you think that AOC is worried about citizens of the Congo who are losing their lives mining cobalt? There's tremendous environmental pollution and danger from the mining of cobalt and lithium and nickel. Don't tell AOC or anyone. Don't tell, uh, you know, Bill Nye and all the wonderful people who are like, this planet's, you know, uh, then why did you know President Obama preside over the largest expansion of domestic oil and gas production? Why the, why, why the preaching and, and the pontificating when Trump is in office? I want to know that. The country, the world is in such dire straits that President Obama has given carte blanche to to have a fracking um just just the expansion of fracking the expansion of uh, domestic oil production no no president has ever come close to what president obama was able to accomplish and then when the united states is the number one producer of exporter of oil then President Obama said, that was me, people. And nobody sees the irony. The left is like completely devoid of any sense of hypocrisy and irony. They don't even know what it is. It's just, <laughs> they've kind of, they're kind of like petulant middle schoolers. If they just don't get, if they don't get their way, they don't care. They don't care. They just want their way. They want their way. They don't want, they, they don't care if the shoe is on the other foot, what, how they would react. They don't know what hypocrisy is. Do as I say, don't do as I do. 
They don't understand what that is. So you better not have any implicit or explicit or subliminal or subconscious bias. Oh my God, you bias that you don't even know. If there's bias that, you know, maybe it's stuck to your shoe, you don't even know the bias. You can't have bias. If you have bias, you're a horrible person. You can't have bias. Peter Strzok says, we will stop Trump. So that's fine. <laughs> the Democrats are like, that's fine. We just, you know, he was worried about the country. Yeah, you because you agree with him, he's, it's okay. If the shoe were on the other foot, you wouldn't even just say that was biased. You would say, this is illegal. Give me your thoughts below. If I, read, read the Steele dossier. It makes, I've read it a million times on this channel. Democrats need to read the Steele dossier. In fact, you know, they should Republicans should read the Steele dossier House Republicans should read the Steele dossier and laugh at it. Absolutely laugh at it. Because the Democrats are planning on reading the Mueller uh, probe report, which is hilarious. And they should read the Steele dossier. None of it proved to be true. And none of it because nobody was indicted. And nobody was sent to jail for anything that had to do with the Steele dossier. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so very much for your support and for sharing these segments Big shout out to Black Conservative Patriot and also Nick DiPaolo. Subscribe to both of them. They're awesome. My Patreon is below if you want to support my voice long term. Thank you so very much. Read my writing in The Federalist, The Daily Caller, The Jerusalem Post, and The Pin Comment. Thank you.